This short tutorial illustrates how you can use Triage Pro to evaluate a lawsuit. Specifically, we will organise a case into strategies, uncertainties and consequences. Then we will analyse it to help decide whether to litigate or settle. Let's examine a model where we represent the defendant being sued for damages related to alleged negligence. The model begins with a decision node configured to minimise the defendant's payout, indicated by the downward arrow. The next two nodes represent our strategies, litigate and settle. The settlement strategy is simple, we just pay the demand. The litigate strategy has multiple scenarios based on legal or factual uncertainties in the case. The first litigation uncertainty is whether the jury will find the defendant negligent or not. This is represented by a chance node with two branches representing the possible jury findings, negligent or not negligent. Our assessment of the relative likelihood of each finding is placed below each branch. If the jury defines the defendant not negligent, that is a scenario endpoint with zero damages. However, if the jury finds the defendant was negligent, then we move to the next uncertainty. The next uncertainty is whether the jury will find the negligence was the cause of the plaintiff's injuries. Again, this is the chance node with two branches and below each is the relative likelihood of each finding. If the jury finds the negligence was not the cause of the injuries, this is another scenario endpoint with no damages. But if the jury finds negligence was the cause of the injuries, then we will have found liability and will go on to award damages. Here we see the final chance nodes with high, medium and low estimates of potential damages awarded. Let's build this decision tree in Triage Pro. The model can be found next to the video at www.triage.com. Choose File, New Decision Tree from the menu to create a new model. You will immediately be asked whether you want to use the Model Setup Wizard to configure your model. Click Yes. We will not change the calculation method as there is a single outcome for this model representing the total award. However, we change the optimal path to low to reflect our perspective as the defendant. This is reflected in the downward arrow at the decision node, minimising the defendant's payout. Under numeric formatting, use the default to show the damages as currency, but change decimal places to two to show the values in millions. Click finish to set the numeric formatting. You can also create a new model with the assistant, which will provide instructions for building a litigation model, as you can see here in the launch pad. Use the initial branch to enter the name of your case. We'll call this one simply Plaintiff versus Defendant. Then we're going to add the strategies. So we do that by double clicking on the decision node and we're going to add two branches to represent our two strategies. We'll enter labels for each strategy. The first one will be to litigate and the second one will be accept plaintiff settlement demand for the, for the strategy branch number two. The settlement strategy will have no further events. We'll come back to add appropriate values in later. However, the litigation strategy will require additional nodes to reflect the issues you feel the jury or judge will consider. They should be sequenced in the order in which you expect the judge and jury to consider them. In this case, the first uncertainty involved the jury finding out about negligence. Double click on the litigate strategy to add two branches. Enter the jury finds the defendant was negligent as the label for the top branch. Then the second branch down, we can enter the defendant was not negligent. The bottom branch again represents one endpoint for the model. If the jury finds the defendant was negligent, we proceed to the next issue. Double click the node again, following was negligent, to add two branches. And again, we're going to enter appropriate labels. So the first one is the jury finds negligence was the cause of the plaintiff's injuries as a label for the top branch. And then for the bottom branch down, we could have negligence was not the cause of the plaintiff's injuries. This represents another endpoint in the model when negligence was not the cause of the plaintiff's injuries. In our top pathway, the jury has found negligence and causation and will next consider how much to award in damages. 
When damages are very uncertain, this can be conveyed by using high, medium and low range. Double click twice on the top node and add three branches. Then we'll label the branches accordingly. So the top one will be jury awards high damages, followed by medium damages for the second branch down, and then low damages for the bottom one. The model structure is complete, but it needs numeric values. Because we're uncertain how the jewellery will come out on each of the issues, we need to estimate and enter probabilities under the branches of the chance nodes. For the first issue, we estimate that the probability the jury will find the defendant negligent is 60%, so we'll click under the branch and enter 0.6. Then we'll click under the opposite branch and enter the hashtag. This hashtag represents the complementary probability, which is 0.4. Once we've finished modelling all the litigation uncertainties for the case, our final steps are to terminate each pathway and enter an appropriate dollar amount for each scenario. Starting at the top, we'll terminate the three scenarios that result in an award of damages. We right click on the higher settlement strategy and then choose change type and terminal from the context menu. And then we'll enter $5 million for the payoff for higher damages. In the same way, we continue down entering payoff values appropriate for each scenario. In the final model, the scenarios that result in no damages have payoffs of zero. The model is now complete and ready for analysis. We can click Rollback to run analysis on the model. Rollback shows at the far right the overall probability and value for each scenario in the model. It also shows the expected value for each strategy at the far left, so we can see 1.3 million for the defendant litigates um, or 2 million if um, we settle. The litigate expected value of 1.3 million is the probability weighted average of the value of the case. It can be thought of as the average result if the case were tried 100 times. As the defendant is interested in minimising our average payout, in each uncertain legal or business problem we face, we would choose to litigate because that strategy has a lower expected value than the settlement strategy. Triage highlights the optimal strategy litigate in green. While the litigation strategy is optimal based on expected values, we may also want to consider the risk when choosing our strategy. The litigation strategy considers the risk of outcomes far worse than expected value. For example, if the defendant was a cause of injuries and has to pay high damages. We can examine the risk graphically by selecting the Defendant Litigate Strategy node and then choosing Analysis Probability Distribution from the menu. This graph shows a 36% chance of an award in excess of the settlement demand. Of that includes a 12% chance of a $5 million award. This degree of exposure could lead some defendants to prefer eliminating the litigation risk by agreeing to the settlement demand, even though that represents a premium above the litigation expected value. As cases get more complex than this simple case, it is too difficult to reach a conclusion that is consistent with your opinions on each of the many issues. It is better to map them out in triage, express your opinions quantitatively, and use centuries-tested probability arithmetic to combine the pieces to help make sound decisions.